see if I can still remember how to do this. <laughs> Hi everyone! I'm hoping my voice will actually allow me to make it through this entire video because I've just been to three days worth of concerts. So I'm a little bit croaky, but I just handed in my coursework today for the final unit, so I am now officially free to make videos again. And I'm so ready for it, I've been missing it so much. And I was going to do another cover, but I feel like right now with my throat it's not really going to happen, is it? So I figured I'd do a review instead because I wanted to do this one a couple of weeks ago, but I just did not have the time. So I think I've had this for about a month now. So I was casually strolling through a shop and I came across this coffee cup. And this was just after going to London and realising that these kind of cups and little tiny handbags that you want to carry around London because let's be honest, who wants to bring a massive bag into the centre of London? It's just not practical at all. So when I came across this little thing, I was pretty excited, to be quite honest with you. So this is my new little friend, the Paquito Collapsible Travel Mug. I think I'm saying that right anyway. So these are made in the UK and obviously come in recyclable packaging. I've just put it back in there for effect. <laughs> I went with the black one. So I think the choice of colours that I came across were pink, orange, black. I feel like there was a green or a blue somewhere in there, but I don't know. But they're all fairly fluorescent colours. I just think it is the coolest thing because it squashes down to this size, which fits in a bag so much better than that. It's really, really light also. I'm gonna weigh it back in a second. Trusty scales used for the purpose of weighing cups, specifically. I just ran across my flat and now I'm a bit out of breath. This is really bad. <laughs> So it only weighs about 70 to 75 grams. I wasn't doing it on the flat surface, so it wasn't entirely accurate. But under 100 grams compared to my other mugs. My heaviest mug is roughly 250 grams. And then it goes down to this one, which is about a similar weight as this, but obviously slightly more bulky. The extra cool thing about this is not only is it collapsible, but it also collapses into three different sizes. So if you take the bottom part out, gives you an 8 ounce cup, pull the top part up, which gives you a 12 ounce cup which is medium I think, that's what it says on the box anyway. And then you can pull out both parts as well which gives you a 16 ounce cup. I think so far I've used this about 5 times, once for a nice lemonade and the rest of the times were hot coffee and to be honest I thought it wasn't going to be very good at keeping the heat in but it's really not that bad. So the pack claims that it's got a spill proof lid, it's bonded insulation and it's dishwasher proof. Now I can't test the dishwasher proofness. Proofness? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, I can't test that because I don't have a dishwasher but it seems like it would be fine. It doesn't feel as well insulated as some other cups but obviously you've got to skimp on that a little bit to make it collapsible but to be honest it didn't really make a lot of difference. It still stayed hot slash cold right until the end. It doesn't really have that plasticky travel mug taste to it when you put stuff in which I really like. But I'd say for the most part it is pretty leak proof. Compared to the other ones I've had, this one leaks the least out of them. It's not a hundred percent. But we'll do a water test here. And I've got nothing underneath this to catch any of the water other than my carpet so, so this is completely full up. And I'm just going to tip it upside down. There is not a single drop of water coming from that. So it's definitely leak proof when you have a drink in there. But in terms of being 100% leak proof, the only issue that I've found with it is once you finish the drink and then you collapse it back up. I think the last time I did use it, it did leak a little bit into my bag. 
which is fine because there was nothing in there but if you've got a bag that you obviously don't want coffee stains on it's not the best however I think probably if you had kind of a bit of material or some tissue or something then you could probably just stuff it in and then that would probably stop the leaking at the end of the drink it's also BPA free so yeah it was 9.99 I think I got it for I'll put a link down below of where you can actually find them and I'll put a link to the website and things because this thing is a literal godsend I don't know if I could cope without it now it's been quite a lot of places with me already so let's hope it lasts for a long long time but that is it for today hope you enjoyed that I'm aware my awkward camera self is reappearing because I've not made a video in forever and there will be some more covers on the way because I've actually quite enjoyed doing the last couple as much as they made me nervous love you all very much goodbye